What I'm going to do here, Chris, um, in this example, they're asking us to solve, find the value of y. So again, what we need to look at is if we go back and talk about our trigonometric functions, all right? Right now, if we have our angle theta is right there, remember how we label the triangle across from the right angle is what we call the hypotenuse, all right? Between our angle and our 90 degree angle, angle is what we call the adjacent side, and this is what we call the opposite side, all right? So in this, in this uh, triangle, we have our opposite side and we have our hypotenuse, right? Because here's our angle, there's the 90 degree. So therefore, we need to determine, well, what is our trigonometric function that deals with the opposite and the hypotenuse? And then, you know, sine, right? Remember, the sine of an angle theta equals opposite over hypotenuse, where cosine of theta equals the adjacent side over the hypotenuse, and tangent of theta equals opposite over adjacent, right? All right, so let's go ahead and write this so I can say now the sine of not theta, but the sine of 60 degrees equals opposite over hypotenuse. So we need to solve for y, though. They're asking us, what is y? So I need to solve for y. So to do that, I need to get the 18 off the bottom. So I'll multiply by 18 on both sides. Therefore, I can say that my value of y is equal to 18 times the sine of 60 degrees. So to do that, now what I'm going to have to do, where my calculator go, is make sure my calculator is in degree mode. Because remember, this is 60 degrees, which is in degree format. So in my mode, I'll make sure I'm in degrees. And then I simply just do 18 times the sine of 60. And that's 15.58. I don't know what it said to round it into, so I'll just write 15.589. We'll round to the thousand. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you find the value of y in the triangle. Yes? In the back, 